Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on Wednesday the 20th of March and rather than do a typical mod review because I got back home late today, I was out all day with doing personal stuff and I missed the early mod drop so rather than go around with all the 10 mods we had released today, I'm going to go around with and show the top 4 mods of today or the spotlight of the mod drops for today so I picked out four mods that I think are worth looking at. Even though one of them may be a bit different, so we're looking at the Calf Barn by Brood ETV, the Disinfection Basin by Holden HB Modding, the Momentum Pack by Orton Modding, and the Karma Side Bins by Zero Farmer, and then lastly, we're looking at the Anywhere Object Storage by Arxy Gaming. So yeah, let's start with looking at this calf barn here. 1.4 megabytes to download. Slot count is 13 slots. Cost 25 grand. Maintenance is 50 bucks a day. And this is a, obviously it's a calf barn. It says holds 30 calves. So I thought, let's put 30 cows in. And yeah, at first they were all tightly packed together. Now they're starting to phase through the wall. So if you're gonna have this mod and you want normal cows, then I recommend like 10 or 15 cows. But yeah, it's got a automatic water supply. Feed capacity is 45,000 liters. Slurry capacity is 80,000 liters. And short capacity is 21,375 liters. And you find this under build mode, under animals, under cows. And yep, I'll say yep, 30 slots goes down to one. There is no color options, no nothing like that. So yeah, that is the Calf Barn by Brody TV. Next, we are just going to take a quick look at the Disinfection Basin by Holden HB Modding. 1.24 megabytes to download, slot count is 18. And yep, yeah, I'm highlighting this because even though it's a purely decorative item with some awesome details, I do think either this mod has potential on its own by the modder itself or with someone else to actually have a proper integration of things like jet washers and that. I, think I know we've got jet washers obviously in-game and on mod up, so let's go to build mode, let's go to under a tool, so yeah. Things like, obviously, basically, we got the Carter HDS. And yeah, you can sort of place a jet washer down. Let's say somewhere like that. Boom. Obviously, use the free building mode. But yeah, drive your dirty tractor on. And go click, and then wash your tractor here. But obviously, rather than us as the player have to deal with it, I love if this is its own mod in that. Also, you don't have to use a cartridge one, so there are many other ones, or even have a custom one. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing is suitable. Nothing, uh, yeah. Obviously, this shed here doesn't open. This is another decoration shed you will have. But yeah, I thought it was a worthy mention, and a little highlight of the level of details and its possible functionality in the future, or with some create techniques. So yeah, that is the Disinfection Basin by Holden. Next, we've got a set of soy bins. These are the Karma soy bins by Zero Farmer. 11.4 megabytes to download. And slot counts are 3 slots for the new silos. And for the more older ones, they are 4 slots. So each of them costs 13, 10, 40 and a half grand, 12 and a half grand, 60 grand, and 40 grand, respectively. We'll go through those and show those in a sec. But yeah, in terms of capacities, so this is the small one. And for all of them, the, what you can have is the same. So, got lime, pig food, seed, mineral feed, soil fertilizer, and back to lime. And in terms of prices and that, I'm like, say, let's say we want a thousand years of lime. £247. Pretty average. Seeds, let's look at that. So... £989 per thousand litres. Probably getting a bit cheaper than that with the big bags and that. And again, there's other mods than that. But yeah, fertilizer, how much is that? About 
seventeen hundred. Yep, yeah, seventeen sixty per thousand. So they're more or less within line of base game. So there's no tip in function. You can't fill these up from as far as I can see. So yeah, trigger is here, and your output is here. So yeah, capacities are so eighteen thousand is for the small one. For the medium size, you're looking at twenty-two thousand seven hundred liters. And for your big ones, you're looking at 27,000 litres. And yet for the older ones, they are all exactly the same. You'll find these under buildings and containers. So yeah, 13 grand for the new one. Then it's 14 and a half grand, 16 grand. And for the older ones, you're looking at 2 grand off. So yeah, say 14 grand for 22,000 litres of soil that can hold of your farm material. Actually it ain't too bad. The upkeeps are these are from six bucks a month for the small ones and eight bucks a month for the bigger ones so obviously not much in maintenance costs so yeah. That's another mod I thought worth highlighting the karma soy bins by Zero Farmer. Next we'll head to the cedar planter we've got. So yeah here's something Actually, quite different from what we're used to having on the bottom when it comes to all of these big, massive, unrealistic planters and that lately. This is the Momentum Pack by Orton Modding. 26.25 megabytes to download. Slot count is 12 slots, so you have three options 11 meter working width, a 13.4 meter working width, and a 80 meter working width, and this however do just seed on its own or for each of the three options you have there are options for a liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer so yeah first of all you'll find these under tools and planters and yeah the reason why I'm saying these are different because basically these are more realistic if you're into realistic farming than that this is the mod for you and yeah, as you look at capacities in a minute, so yeah, it's a planter that can do all the crop types. So from your wheat, barley and that, to your sugar, beets and cotton. I do have the premium expansion enabled, so this can't do the new root crops. But again, to compare it to like the McKinsey stuff, that's unrealistic. All that is unrealistic, like the poplars and that. What's this? Aco company and that. 24, 30, and 40. These are more realistic and working speeds are again realistic. 9 miles an hour. 12 slots goes down to 1. So you've got 30.4 tons, 14.4 and 60.4 tons. For the 11 meter one. So the capacity on its own is 5,000 litres. Exemptions? No. Got exemptions 1 and that is for liquid fertilizer. And that adds an additional 5,000 year capacity. And then you've got your solid fertilizer option. For brands, you'll see this on the side. So you've got Valtra, Massey Ferguson, and Fent. So yeah, that was all part of the Agco company. Limited color option. So main color, we've got gray and black. That would change the C tank. And for rims, you've got gray, red, and black. For the momentum 30, 13.4 meters. So again, similar to the first one, 5,000 years on its own, and an additional 5,000 years for liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer. And configurations are all the same. Lastly, we've got something slightly different. So with the momentum 40, 16.4 tons, 18 meters work width. So it's 5,000 years on its own, but then you do have a 10,000 year option for liquid fertilizer and a 5,000 year option for your solid fertilizer and back to none. So potentially you can have something like this on, have the extra liquid fertilizer if you want extra seed in that. In terms with other mods and that, uh, I don't think I've got them enabled, but you use something like this, the Lemkin Solitaire 23. That gives you extra solid fertilizer. 
Well, I think it's under cedar, so yeah, something like this. The Kuhn TF 1512. There's also a Valstrain one, and I'm sure there's other mods in that. That can give you extra seat capacity at the front, if you wish. So yeah, let's go and demonstrate this, so... Turn our tractor on. We'll unfold and lower, so... Yeah, configurations are like terms with crops, wheat, barley, oats, canola. All your crops. So if you want a multi fruit planter, yes, I do have the small one here. And turns with options. I was think for the tractor on its own. I don't think there's no. So yeah, there's no option in terms with. That's just a tractor. So yeah, let's go and lower this. Turn it on. And yeah, once again, it's a very simple. Realistic multi fruit planter and ignore the things all spread about because, yeah, I just thought quickly hop on that. Just got back in the office, so I thought, yeah, get this done. Show you a little bit of highlight of mods. This took a bit work longer to do because I've been testing our next mod we'll be looking at in a sec. But, yeah, simple. Absolutely lovely to use in that. And in terms of animations and that level of details, head out of here. Yeah, for 12 slots and that, like the level of details are actually quite nice. Simple. Like, you, know, you got like the numberings and all that, the hoses. Absolute lovely. And in terms of usage, yeah, you're gonna use a bit more liquid fertilizer, so. Maybe go with the bigger liquid fertilizer option, maybe? But yeah, so... That is the Momentum Pack by Autumn Modding. Next, we're going to head to our final mod to look at for the day. So, for our final mod of the day, this is something special, and it's by a fellow YouTuber and content creator, Arxy Gaming. This is his second mod in general, he's done for the mod up. First one for crossplay, and this is the Anywhere Object Storage, and this is basically storage for things like not just your bells, but all of your pallets, big bags, anything you want to put in, whether it's base game, premium expansion, platinum expansion, it will fit it all. And yeah, we're going to test that. We've got some examples down there, and yeah, I do have some nine times capacity bells I'm going to test but yeah apart from that I have not tested everything else I have tested out like chaff bells cotton bells and all that it all works fine so yeah there are four options slot cams are free free four slots for the outdoor option and then yeah back down to free so yeah also you got just your bell storage here the field bell storage 200 capacity Got your outdoor bell storage that is 500 capacity and then you got your any shed object storage so those two are i'm assuming just bells and these ones here are for your big bag stuff pallets and anything else you can think of so yeah that is 250 capacity and 500 capacity and yeah, obviously we do have a bell limit on console 200 bells with pallets, I think it's 75 for last gen PS4 and that. And 150 or something like that for next gen or current gen. I'm not sure our clone plays on PlayStation 4. But yeah, anyways. You'll find these under build mode and I will demonstrate on how to place them down. But first of all, let's go to our silos. Scroll down to the end. So yeah, five grand, two and a half grand, two grand, and one grand. And that is exactly how I've laid out here. So literally, you can have a bell storage for as cheap as a grand. And I know Argy mentioned this in his video that the reason why it's so cheap that it's a quality of life mod. And oh boy, has he done it like. Seriously, this is what I have been waiting on for. Something like this to come on motto, because I know we've had bell storages for ages and that. But yeah, something to have a customizable option. So, 
First of all, to place them down, let's uh, select this one here. You've got your options, and the best way to place this is with, if you're on PlayStation, toggle free mode on. And what I'll do is, yeah, toggle free mode is on. You'll need, need this to place down, and you'll place this after you've put a shed down. You can put this down, so let's say I want to place this down here. And then I'll whack a shed on over top of this. I'm sure, this is something that can be done. See, so yeah, on its own, it won't place down. But again, it's toggle free mode. So something like that. Again, with console now, we do have limitations when it comes to camera angles. So, but yeah, I'm thinking something like that. So yeah, it's going to have got these in closer detail. So. These poles, this is where your bells and your pads are going to be stored. The red box here, as you can see, is where it will come out. And the hazard box is where you'll put it in. So, yeah, got your output and your input here. And with the exclamation point, so I've well, got the help menu open up. So, press circle, hold your markers, and that will hide the squares. And I will hide the poles. And the good thing about these ones is there's no collisions whatsoever. So you can go boom in just like that. So you can put your vehicles here. You can have even vehicles parked here. Or even technically parked inside the bells if you wish. But yeah, that is something absolutely nice. So let's go into our John Deere here. So yeah, I'm using bells from the selectable bell capacity mod. Hammer, who's that? Is by. But I've tested this with all the listable stuff by use for modding. They all work fine. So yeah, the selectable bell capacity is by GH66 mod. So I'll just quick check and credits. But yeah, so I've tested the listable bells. I'm testing these, and I am 99% sure this will work. So let's go and. Unload our bells, and yep, that all works. So I am 99.9% .9 sure any bell mod you've got, whether it's the map trucker ones, use ones, or the selectable bell capacity by GH66 mods, these will work. These will work with pallets, and yep. So I've gone and tested a bit, and yep, see, no collisions whatsoever. And I've got all sorts of stuff. I've got straw bells, I've got pallets. So yeah, things like, yeah, long planks, carrot soup, armor raw, sugar, potato chips. I even got sugar bells or sugar beet cuts, TMR bells. And yeah, it all just looks lovely and detailed. So obviously I quickly showed you how one way of doing it, how it is shown by Argzy, and again, Depends on what shed you're using in that, because, again, with consoles at least, the camera angle is a bit iffy. If you're on PC, not a problem, so let's head into our soils again, and I'll put something in here. Let's go with the big one, so we're going to need not the short one. So yeah, apologies, there I had a message, so yeah, obviously you got your shed down. So yeah, first of all, we need to enable toggle free mode, and I think snapping would be a good option to have as well. Again, not necessary to have snapping on, so I'm going to leave that off. Because yeah, you do have free range of rotation, so for something like this, I would think of having it. Obviously, you've got to be careful of the boxes as well, so. Use that in a way as a guide, along with the pillars. So yeah, something like that. Try zoom in a bit. So, so make sure we're not clipping anything massively. So there we go. You can have one there, and potentially, if you wish, you can have a second one down. Or what I would do is maybe have like a smaller version here. So. Again, make sure our dialog boxes 
like the hazard mark, the hazard mark area. I mean, make sure that is on the outside of the shed, something like that. And of course, the wooden beams are just where the pallets and bells is all going to be. So yeah, overall, I think that actually that turned out quite well. And in terms of how they look on the ground, obviously you want to place this bit here down with toggle free mode on because you don't want it to terraform the train or anything. You want to put this down with the shed in that. So shed first, but then again with textures and landscaping it is possible. So if we have a look, so yeah, once it's placed down you can if you wish. Put custom textures down. Ah, yeah, with landscaping, let's just say I want to level this area here. Just move the character back. So, yeah, landscaping, sculpting, well, I'm guessing level. So, I want to pick a level there. So, press square. And there's not, sorry, press square, I just want to pick a level. And I'm guessing it's leveling or something, I'm not sure. Actually, would that work if I say... Raise. So yeah, I want to raise the ground. So yeah, with landscaping, you can adjust the ground around it, but... So yeah, obviously do any landscaping before you place it down, so yeah, my fault. Again, this is a highlight review, maybe a bit longer than that, but I want to just show, out of all the mods we've had today, what are my top mods, and top mod of the day, and I'm going to say this right now, perhaps top mod of 2024 at least, mod of the year so far, is this, the Edinburgh Object Storage by Argosy Gaming, and I can't remember if I said it or not, but yeah, it's only 0.73 megabytes to download, so an absolute bargain, like definitely one of, if not going to be one of the top mods I think we've had for a while, in my opinion, because yeah, it's such a quality of life mod, this can fit with any sheds you've got on your maps, and what else is more to say, so... Argzy, top notch, model of, the, model of the year, definitely. So yeah, that is my highlighted spotlight mod review of the day of Wednesday the 20th of March 2024. And as always, hopefully you enjoyed this. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.